Hello everyone! How are you today? It's your teacher Jim Ryman once again. And this time, we will proceed to the lesson 2 of your module 2 for quarter 4 in Mathematics 6. And this is entitled, Solving Routine and Non-Routine Problem Involving Volumes of Solids. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. And welcome to our Mathematics class! Again, our objective for this week is to solve routine and non-routine problems involving volumes of solids. Okay, this time, let's answer the what I know part of your module. Number one, find the volume of cube with side of 1.5 meters. Very easy, di ba? Once you are familiarized with the different formula in finding the volume of solid figure, it would be very easy for you to solve problems like this. So obviously, this is the formula in finding the volume of a cube. So that is 1.5 cube. So, we will multiply 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. Okay? Yan. So, yung product ng tatlong 1.5 na yan would be... Very good. It's 3.375 cubic meters. So, this is your answer for number 1. It's very easy, right? Number 2. The base of a pyramid is square with side of a length. 12 centimeters and its height is 8 centimeters find the volume of the pyramid so obviously we will use this formula okay yung base natin yung base area natin is side times side okay because we have a square pyramid and a solid figure dito sa number 2 at yung height i-multiply natin sila sa height and i-divide sa 3 substitute natin yung side ng square natin which is 12 centimeters at saka yung height natin is 8 centimeters so yung side times side is 12 times 12 and then times 8 centimeters divided by 3 so unahin muna natin isolve yung 12 times 12 dito class magiging 144 square centimeters yan and then copy yung 8 saka mo i-multiply sa 144 and you'll give 1,152 cubic centimeters. I-divide natin sa 3, magiging 384 cubic centimeters. Ito yung answer natin for number 2. Okay? Number 3, find the volume of the given presents. Very easy, di ba? Yung ating length dito is 5 feet. Yung width natin is 3 feet. At yung height natin dito is 2 feet. Gamit itong formula na to class, substitute natin yung length, 5 feet. Yung width natin is 3 feet. At yung height natin is 2 feet. Diba? So, i-multiply natin yan lahat, magiging 30 cubic feet. Ito yung final answer, diba? Napakadali lang talaga. Number 4. The length of a pancake mix box is 15 centimeters. The width is 5 centimeters. And the height are 21 centimeters. What is the volume of the box? By the way, by reading this problem, what solid figure do you have in mind? Yes, it's a prism, rectangular prism. So, gamitin mo yung formula na to, di ba? Okay, yung length natin will give you 15 centimeters. Yung width natin is 5 centimeters. At ang yung height natin is 21 centimeters. Multiply. 15 times 5 times 21. The answer is, yes, it's 1,575 cubic centimeters. Ito yung answer natin to number 4. Number 5. The diameter of a can of a paint is 8 inches and the height is 10 inches. Find the volume. So, ano kayang uh, shape ng ating can? Of course, that's a cylinder. Di ba? So, kung cylinder na formula ay pi r squared times height. So, yung ating diameter dyan is 8 inches. And hindi yan ang gagamitin natin, kundi yung half nyan o yung kalahati ng 8 becomes 4. 
Okay, and of course, height na 10. Substitute natin class. Yung 3.14, yung pi natin dyan. And then, yung radius natin dito is 4 inches. Squared, of course. And then, the height is 10. So, bago natin i-multiply lahat yan, i-multiply muna natin ito by itself. Okay, 4 times 4 will, get, will give you, yes, 16. Copy na yung 3.5 at saka yung 10. So, pwede na natin i-multiply lahat yan, class. So, the correct answer is 502.4 cubic inches. Ito na yung final answer sa number 5. Number 6, the radius of a basketball is 12 centimeters. Find the volume. So, basketball is in shape of sphere. Very good. And the sphere's formula is 4 third pi r cube or can be written as 4 pi r cube divided by 3. So, radius lang kakailanganin natin. So, i-replace natin yung r as 12 centimeters. Ito na yung class. 4, kopyahin mo. Yung pi natin, 3.14. Yung r natin, replace sa 12. And of course, may cube dyan. I-divide sa 3. So, again, Multiply 12 by itself by 3 times 12 times 12 times 12. So, it will be replaced as 1,728. So, copy yung 3.4, copy yung 4 divided by 3. So, multiply lahat yan, class. It give you 21,703.68 divided by 3. Okay? So, after that, we'll give you 7,234.56 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin sa number 6. Number 7. Alan keeps a tropical fish. His aquarium is 60 centimeters long, 15 centimeters wide, and 20 centimeters high. Each fish needs 20 cubic centimeters of water. Solve for the maximum number of fish that, that he can keep in the aquarium. Before we solve the maximum number of fish that can be kept inside the aquarium, Kunin muna natin yung volume ng aquarium. So, aquarium will give you a rectangular prism na shape. So, ang formula natin dyan is length times width times height. Yung length natin dyan, class, is 60 centimeters. Yung width natin dyan is 15 centimeters. At yung height natin is 20 centimeters. Pag i-multiply mo lahat yan, class, ang mabibigay na answer sa iyo ay... 18,000 cubic centimeters. Pero hindi yan ang final answer natin kasi kinakailangang madetermine natin yung maximum number of fish na pwedeng ilagay dito kung ang ma-occupy daw na space ng fish is 20 cubic centimeters. So, yung isang fish class ma-occupy niya ay uh, 20 cubic centimeters. So, anong gagawin natin? Yes, i-divide natin ito sa 20. Okay? So, para malaman natin kung ilang fish ang pwedeng may pasok sa, sa loob ng prism natin aquarium. So, 18 cubic centimeters, i-divide natin yan sa 20 cubic centimeter. Equivalent yan class ng isang fish. Yung 20 cubic centimeters. So, yung answer niyan ay 900. So, 900 fishes ang pwedeng may pasok sa loob ng rectangular prism na aquarium. So, yung 900 fishes na yan, yun, yan yung final answer natin for number 7. Okay? Number 8. A farmer harvested 100 cavans of rice. The storage room is 3 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. How many cavans of rice can the storage hold if one cavan occupies 0.2 cubic meters? So, katulad din kanina class, isolve na muna natin yung volume ng storage room, which is rectangular prism nga na shape, di ba? Kasi 3 by 2 by 2. So, that's rectangular prism. So, ganimitin natin tong formula na to. Yung length natin dyan, of course, is 3 meters. Yung width natin dyan, class, is 2 meters. And yung height natin is 2 meters. So, i-multiply mo, mo yan lahat. So, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So, 12 cubic meters. Hindi pa yan yung tamang sagot. Sabi dito, ang ma-occupy daw ng isang kavana rice is 0.2 cubic meters. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin dito sa 12 para malaman natin ilang kavans ang rice na pwedeng ipasok sa storage room? Yes! I-divide natin to sa 0.2. So, ito na yung equation natin, class. 12 cubic meters, i-divide natin yan sa 
0.2 cubic meters. Kung may divide natin yan, ang quotient niyan will become 60. So, 60 kavans lang ang rice na mapapasok sa loob ng storage room na may dimensions na 3 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. Okay? So, this is the correct answer. 60 kavans lang. So, yung 100 kavans na rice na na-harvest sa farmer, ang 40 kavans dyan na hindi mapapasok sa loob ng storage room kasi hindi na siya kakasya. Okay, this time, let's answer the what's in part of your module 2, particularly in your lesson 2. Number 1, find the volume of the given figure. Obviously, what figure is that? Very good, it's a prism. So, use this formula. So, ang length natin dyan ay 9 inches. Yung width natin dyan ay 5 inches. At saka yung height natin dyan ay 4 inches. I-multiply lahat yan, it will give you 180 cubic inches. Okay? So, I know you are, you are familiar with this already. That's why medyo uh, hindi ko na talagang i-discuss na masyado. Kasi I'm sure you already know all of this. ba? Number two, that's a pyramid. So, yung formula natin ay S times S times side. Kasi square pyramid yan. So, yung S natin dyan ay 6. So, 6 times 6 times 6. Yung height din natin dyan ay 6. So, 6 times 6 times 6. So, we'll give you 36. So, yung naso muna natin yung dalawang start, 6 na 6. 6 and 6 dito. We'll give you 36. Yung 6 dyan, copy muna. At yung 3 na denominator, copy muna. 36 times 6 will give you 216 cubic meters. Divided by 3 will give you 72 cubic meters. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 2. Number 3. Okay. Cylinder yan. Binigay dyan, diameter na 42. So, ang radius ang gagamitin natin, ba? So, that makes it 21 na lang. So, ito yung formula niya. Okay? So, that's 3.14. Yung pi natin yan, class. Yung r natin dyan is 21. No? Kalahati ng 42. And then, squared. And ang height natin dyan is 50 cube centimeters. So, 21 times 21. Yes, it's 441 square centimeters. And then, 50 centimeters. 3.14, 441 times 50 will give you, very good. The final answer is 69,237 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin sa number 3. Number 4, a cone-shaped container has a radius of 6 feet and a height of 10 feet. What is the volume of the container? So, cone, ang shape niya. So, gagamitin natin yung cone na volume na formula. So, that's pi r squared times height divided by 3. So, yung radius daw niya is 6 feet. Yung height niya is 10 feet. So, substitute natin yan sa formula. So, ito na sila class. Yung radius is 6. Pi natin 3.14. Yung height natin is 10. So, 6 times 6 here will give you 36. Copy yung 10 at saka copy yung 3.14. So, so 3.14 times 36 times 10 will give you 1,130.40 cubic feet divided by 3. I-divide mo yan sa 3. Ang magiging quotient niyan ay 376.8 cubic feet. Ito na yung final answer natin sa number 4. Number 5. What is the value of the soccer ball with the diameter measures 18 centimeters? So, yung soccer ball natin is in spherical shape. So, ito yung gagamitin natin, volume ng sphere. Okay, pwede rin ganito class. So, radius niya is 9 kasi 18 yung diameter. So, kalahati niyan is 9. So, 9 ang ilalagay natin dyan. So, 4. Yung pi natin dyan is 3.14. Yung radius natin is 9. Okay? And then, Q. So, 9 times 9 times 9 will give you... 729 cubic centimeters, 3.14, and then 4 divided by 3. Okay? Multiply natin yan ng numerator lahat class, and we'll give you 9,156.24 cubic centimeters divided by 3. At yung i-divide mo na yan, magiging, yes, 3,052.08 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung final answer natin sa number 5. Okay, that's all for today class. If you want to watch the part 2 of this video lesson in your lesson 2, please click the link above. Okay? That's all for today. See you next time.